Hey, welcome. Uh, my name is Alexis and I'm the creator of the Journey plugin. I want to give you a really quick walkthrough of all the features that, uh, that are in there so you can create and discover amazing stories in your vault. Uh, straight up, uh, basic usage, uh, you, after installing, of course, the plugin, uh, click on Find Journey on the left in the left sidebar um, and then enter uh, a starting note and end note title. So. Um, for example, neurodiversity as a start and the Empire State Building as the end note. Uh, click on Find Journey and boom, within split second, you get your journey, the path of this, uh, these two nodes, how do they connect? Super interesting for me. These are all you know, topics that I care about, that I'm excited about. Uh, and um, now I basically just click on Copy to Clipboard, Copy to Clipboard and the uh, it will paste in. I can paste in now the uh, the list of notes uh, that I just created. Um, and now I can go in here and I can you know flesh this out. I can add my own color. I can tell the story of you know how I discovered neurodiversity, maybe what that means to me, um, and then you know tell the story about by adult ADHD, maybe you know safe space as you're seeing here up to the point of and this is how the Empire State Building was created. <laughs> so. So there is something that I'm very excited about here and uh, something I want to share uh, with the world. So yeah, um, good. Uh, I will show you a few more. This is the basic usage. Go ahead, straight up, use the plugin as is and you'll find amazing things. There's uh, two or three more uh, smaller uh, pieces. Uh, there is the I feel lucky button, um, which, which is here on the bottom in the modal. Uh, and if you click on it, uh, it will rotate through all your nodes and find uh, random notes and it will allow you to find connections there. Uh, this is super useful to just find inspiration and look at your vault a little differently. It's sort of like the random note plugin, but you know, in the network. Uh, and so you definitely use the I feel lucky button if you don't know where to start or where to end. Um, and then I'm going to also show you a few of the settings that are that this plugin has that you definitely should know about. So. First of all, um, the Journeys plugin settings in the settings, uh, use forward links and use backlinks. Leave that as is for now. They're on by default um, and you can figure that, you know, you can play around with that later. What I do want to show you is um, you can use tags to include to be included in your journeys. So uh, the, the plugin can find a path also uh, by using tags. If you use tags, you can just toggle it on and it will then uh, they you know you it will then also find journeys along tags um, and then there's another setting uh, you can also make it avoid certain nodes and uh, folders in fact uh, the first part is uh, allow going taking the scenic route is a feature that when you toggle it on basically will find paths that are not going through. Uh, notes with a lot of links in them. Um, some people call those uh, MOCs, maps of content. So if you have these index nodes, which are just basically lists of uh, of links, you can configure the plugin to avoid those because in in my personal experience, they're a little boring. Um, they're not adding a lot to a story. They're just not interesting, I found. Um, and in the setting, as you can see, you can also configure with a slider uh, how many links in a note, make a, a MOC, which means you can say, hey, avoid pages that have or notes that have 20 or more links. Um, last but not least, there's also the feature of uh, excluding folders. So I have, for example, a daily notes folder where I have my daily notes and I don't often don't want that to be part of uh, the um, journey plugin, then I can just add that folder name to the through the list of uh, things I want to exclude. And then it will not use those files uh, on those uh, notes for for story discovery. Um, and it's a comma separated list. If you have several folders, just comma separate them. And then last but not least, we have visual settings uh, uh, feature where if you are struggling with your eyesight, or if you know, the contrast isn't high enough. Uh, you ha there's a high contrast version for if you if you ad in in any way can't uh, see so well um, um, for whatever reason. So you can enable that uh, in high contrast, and um, yeah, then you can uh, see your results better. 
Uh, these are the settings and uh, yeah, super excited for uh, you to try this out uh, and discover your notes uh, and your stories really that are hidden in there and that, uh, that the world should uh, learn about um, and that you're excited about. And I want to, uh, uh, two more notes or two more tips actually. Uh, sometimes the plugin, if you type in, if you search, uh, use it to search, it will tell you, well, there is no path between this note and that note that you entered. Um, and it will say basically, well, they're not connected. And usually that's true. So if a note in, you know, in your vault, you may actually have several networks that are actually not connected. And if that's the case, you know, note from network one and note from network two, just there is no path, right? However, if you know for a fact that, hey, I know there is a connection because I created it or whatever, um, please, this then this is a bug in the, the, the plugin that I don't know of yet. So uh, here is a, uh, here, please file an issue on GitHub. Um, if you run into any bug, basically what I'm saying is, if you find any bug with this thing, it's not doing the thing that you think it should. Um, uh, file a bug on that URL that I'm, I'm sharing here, uh, and then I will look at it. And the second thing is, if you have an idea for, if you if you're like using this and you're like, oh, this would be so cool if it, if we had this, there is a thread on the Obsidian forum that uh, where I want you to share your experience and your ideas, and we will uh, vote feature ideas. Uh, um, uh, collectively to see what should be built next. So yeah, uh, that's all. Uh, that's a lot to take in, but basically just install it, play around with it. That's my biggest tip, play around with it, whack the buttons, feel lucky, you know, and, and see what happens and see what emerges uh, from, from there. So thank you so much for trying this out and uh, looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.